Alright, so I'm going to show y'all how to get the vocals right uh, using Mixcraft Pro Studio 8. And uh, it's actually pretty simple. So first things first, I go to Acoustica Compressor. Okay. And these are the presets that I have saved. Okay, I usually don't really do too much adjusting on this except for the output sometimes. Excuse me. Or the threshold sometimes. But yeah, it's 9 times out of 10, it's going. I keep it the exact same. So write that down, a screenshot that, do whatever you need to do. All right. Then uh, next thing I do is I go to Classic Compressor and I go to Pre-Mastering. And I usually don't do any adjusting there. If I do, it's, going, it's only going to be on the output, which is the volume. Then this is the key right here. Uh, I have what's called TB uh, Parametric Equalizer. I can't remember if this is a, a Mixcraft plugin or not. I'm not really sure. But this is an equalizer. And this... Uh, you got to figure it out on your own, okay? But to just start, to have a place to start, I mean, you can copy, paste, you know, screenshot where my vocals is at, and then just adjust accordingly, but just know that, you know, one is usually going to be between uh, 0 to 63, 2 is always going to be around 125, 3 is always going to be at 500, 4 is always going to be at uh, 2,000, Five is always going to be around four to eight thousand. Sometimes I pull it, you know, a little bit to the right, and same thing for six. Sometimes it's more over here towards eight thousand, but sometimes it's staying over here in uh, sixteen thousand or sixteen k. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. And then uh, <clears throat> go on YouTube and type in uh, Blockfish, excuse me, Blockfish VST download. Okay, because this is like a DSer, and uh, yeah, it's just good for, you know, if you speak kind of harsh or if your microphone just picks up kind of harsh qualities to where you know your s's and harshness and hissing is really popping uh this will help a whole lot so yeah screenshot that um i will say that you can use everything you see here only thing you would have to adjust on your own for your own voice uh individuality is the the compression and the saturation, but everything else you can pretty much copy the same, except for that bypass. I believe that's supposed to be off, but it actually works for me, so I keep it on. But yeah, and then this too, the way these levels are, yeah, copy that. All right, moving on. Classic reverb, you know, adjust the effects. And adjust the reverb nation, everything else you can pretty much leave alone. And adjust the volume, everything else you can pretty much leave alone. Delay, same thing, adjust the effects, adjust the uh, the timing, of course. And whether you want to be, uh, you know, what type of effect, tape, analog, or digital. And yes, it on the delay. And then go on YouTube and type in Autotune Evo VST and you'll find... How to download this auto tune it's a great one that works for me you know all the other ones out there they i don't know but this this just works for me this actually and that that didn't come with mixcraft you have to go find it and download it this did come with mixcraft g snap pitch correction it's not you don't have to have it but i like using it and then classic chorus this is something i custom made called spread so if you want to take a moment screenshot my levels this just, um, I can't really explain what it does, but it just creates uh, uh, evenness, you know, in the left and the right ears as far as the voice, and it just spreads it out, you know, pun intended, huh? And then, uh, auto filter, this is something else I went and customized myself. I usually stay in HP or BP, I don't use the other two. Uh, and then, yeah, you just adjust the volume accordingly and just how much of the effect you want accordingly. BP kind of sounds like you're in a phone or yeah, kind of like that phone effect and then HP kind of gives you like that uh, I don't know how, how else to explain it except for like if you listen to Drake's music and you notice his voice has that bass in it and you can kind of you hear that tone of the bass like evenly throughout the whole song that's what HP will do for you if you have a if you have a voice with a lot of bass but yeah and then classic master limited just put it on master CD adjust the volume accordingly and yeah that's it that's how all my you know 
the vocals be sounding clean the way that it does and then another thing too is I go in the individual track recorded like here track number two where I recorded and then I adjust the highs and I adjust the lows you know accordingly and yeah and it sounds like this uh, I remember back in eighth grade my mind started to change said fuck a nine to five I gotta make my own way and all the ones that love me really laughed in my face but jokes on you motherfuckers cause yeah so yeah hopefully that uh helps y'all you know what i'm saying let me know peace